Hi everyone, welcome to Bonnie Carolee Makes Cards. Today's card features a cling stamp by Simon Says Stamp, Spring Flowers. The beautiful stylized floral images make this stamp perfect for a background or as the main show. So let's get started. I begin with an ink smooshing technique on Canson watercolor paper. I'm using Distress Oxide inks, antique linen, sponge sugar, and milled lavender. To prevent the colors from blending together, the ink is smooshed on one at a time and dried in between applications of colors. The final result is very soft and subtle and won't compete with the flowers. When the panel is completely dry, which does not take very long, it is stamped with Versamark ink and embossed with gold embossing powder. I continue to work with the Distress Oxide inks to paint the floral background. I stamp the ink pad on my media mat and then pick up the color with a water brush pen. The flowers and the berries are painted with shaded lilac and worn lipstick. I am working across the panel in groups of three. Three pink flowers alternating with three lilac ones. For the lilac flowers, I also use a little bit of sponge sugar just to give the outer portion of the petals a bit of a rose hue. The blossom end on the lilac berries and the leaves are painted with antique linen. Using a small paintbrush, I spatter the entire panel using Distress Ink Sponge Sugar. I also apply spatter using Distress Stain Tarnished Brass. The smaller the paintbrush that is used, the finer the spatter. The panel is set aside to dry while I start working on the sentiment. I begin with Bristol Smooth Cardstock and Ink Blend Worn Lipstick and Sponge Sugar Distress Inks. This panel and white sheet foam are die cut using the shadow die from Simon Says Stamps Happy Birthday Brush Script die set. The partner die, the script Happy Birthday, is used to die cut matte gold cardstock. After the sentiment is adhered to the shadow, it is then mounted on the white sheet foam die cut. I always take a little bit of extra care when working with spatter that has been done with the liquid distress inks. Because it seems to take a fair amount of drying time, I first blot it with paper towel picking up the excess ink and then put the heat tool to it. Now I'm ready to die cut the panel and matte gold cardstock using Simon Says Stamps A2 Thin Frames. I'm using the fourth largest die. Making sure the inner and outer panels are oriented correctly so that the flowers match up, the panels are laid out with the thin frame and assembled. I use a little bit of scotch tape just to hold them in place so that it's easier to work with. I can now easily center and adhere this panel to the card base. The card base is a two size measuring four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. The stack sentiment, Happy Birthday, is adhered to the center of the card. And that completes this floral design painted with Distress Oxide inks featuring Simon Says Stamps, Spring Flowers. As always, I appreciate your visit.